An auto shop in Centennial is taking classic cars and turning them into something new. This is pretty cool. Denver 7's Ethan Carlson shows us how they're now going electric. There's just something about cars and the way we feel about them. I'm at Classic EV Conversions. They're an auto shop in Centennial that's letting people still drive their classic cars by converting them to all electric. Classic cars like this 66 Beetle named Jude need a lot of love. Nicholas Bradley is trying to make it easier to keep these older vehicles on the road. What we're finding is once people start driving the vehicles and actually experiencing it, they get to enjoy their classic car year round without the hassle of maintenance and everything else. You'd never know it just by looking, but they're in the process of converting this car into an all electric vehicle. The idea started in 2019 when he got to experience an electric Beetle that his uncle Tim had converted. It just gives it a more modern car feel and uh, you feel safer. You can uh, merge with traffic. You can, you know, get on I-25 and, and be up to speed in uh, no time. Being a big gearhead, you're like, electric? Why, why would you do such a thing? Um, drove it, and I mean, I've never driven a faster bug than that, and it instantly just sold me. The uncle-nephew duo decided to go into business together, creating the company Classic EV Conversions. They'll swap out the engine with an electric motor for a standard conversion, or they'll go several steps further. For something like that, we tear the car down completely, strip everything out of it, and start redesigning the kind of bare bones of the car to accommodate the Tesla motor, the batteries, and everything else. Keeping the old school body, but making it faster, safer, more reliable, and more green. They even recycle used Tesla parts. And we're putting those back into the the environment on the road and taking off the old gas ones as well. Now car lovers can hang out of the vehicles close to their hearts. We actually have here in this shop the first car I ever drove when I was 12 years old, uh, a 66 Corvair that belonged to my dad. And the Bradleys can continue finding ways of using something old to build something new. It's a giant game of Tetris of just trying to fit it in there in the best, most efficient way. And it's a blast. In Centennial, Ethan Carlson, Denver 7.